Shri, what's up? How's it going so far? Hey, Danny. How's it going? Good. Why don't you have a seat? All right. I've actually thrown away a bunch of code, and I haven't really written anything useful. Oh. Um, so are we talking like blown schedule for the week then? That doesn't sound good. Well, I wouldn't say that. I think this is actually fairly normal. Okay. I've been working on a pretty complicated approach these past couple of days, and I just recently decided that I'm going to trash it all. Okay. And I'm going to go for a more decoupled approach. Uh, this relates to an idea called YAGMI. Do you know what that is? I don't. Is that some sort of acronym? Uh, yeah. Ac YAGMI actually stands for you aren't going to need it. Okay. It's basically the idea that a programmer shouldn't add any functionality unless they know it's absolutely necessary. Got it. Think of it like you're working on a pretty complicated business plan and okay. you need to make a lot of assumptions. Sure. You shouldn't make those assumptions unless you know that you're going to need them. Okay. Well, I appreciate that analogy. That helps me out. Yeah, I don't know too much, but I just wanted to throw that in. <laughs> no, that was good. Um, but we have been doing a few things well, actually. Um, we've been getting build automation up and testing. Um, and I've actually written a few unit tests, uh, which for some of the functions in the code. Cool, user tests. I learned about those in business school. Um, did you? Do you know what unit tests are? A unit test, unit test. I thought you said user test. What no, is it? No, no, I actually have no idea what a unit test is. I'm, I'm kind of new to software development, as you could tell by the <laughs> lack of knowledge on Yagni. Could you explain what a unit test is to me? Yeah, a uh, unit test is actually when you're testing individual parts of the code. Okay. Later on, we're going to be doing functional testing, which is when we're going to be looking at whether the individual parts of the code work with the overall system. Okay. So, I know I keep harping on schedule, but Marla's is kind of chomping at the bit to sit down and figure out what kind of progress we've been making. I've been able to fend her off so far, but I kind of told her that maybe we'd be able to sit down by the end of the week. Um, is this really something that w is necessary uh, for us to tackle this particular week? I'm going to say it is, actually, okay. Danny. Um, I think it's a really good idea that we tackle it this week uh, for two reasons, actually. One of them would be that when I don't write unit tests, I end up making a ton of mistakes, and I end up having to spend so much more time debugging, and I don't end up finishing any faster either. The second reason would actually be that we end up with a ton of technical debt, and okay. the more we skip now, the more time we're going to waste later trying to write unit tests after the code's already done, and it's really hard to scale back. Got it. Well, if I run into Marla again, I'll pass it along, and I think she'll appreciate that. Okay, that's great. But later on this week, I'm going to need your help with functional testing. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Happy to help. Okay, good. Um, by the way, also, uh, we want to expand the team to include that tester later on. Okay. And I think that we should automate the functional testing, if that's a good idea. I think it'll be great because it'll be less to deal with. Sure. And it'll be less scary for the developers in the long run, too. Now, look, I'm all for any kind of automation we can add. Uh, I think it's going to lead to faster scalability, so that sounds great. Okay, great. I hope you have some good luck with Marla. I appreciate it. Me too. <laughs>